So as I said yesterday, I am showing you three modifications uh, from other people, so mods that weren't made by me. Uh, one is a floppy cube mod, one is a mirror cube mod, and the last one is a sticker mod of a curvy copter, and it's really cool, so check it out. So first up in this video is a mirror cube mod that I want to show you guys. I already showed it on my channel, but it was a long time ago and I didn't have many subscribers and I think that this puzzle deserves to be shown. Now let's start with the stand, because this was custom made as well. Um, it was made by Heyouch. Uh, he's... Right, okay, it says his name right here. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Sorry, let's see. Okay. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing this correctly. Uh, anyways, he used to make some Borg cubes. I'm going to put a link to his channel in the description so you can check it out. And uh, I asked him to make me a camouflage Borg cube, and he made this, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. And uh, so look at the stand. I mean, he, he decorated the stand with these tiny, you know, like, um, tubes and stuff like that. And uh, little plastic pieces that look really cool. Um, Honestly, it's a pretty nice paint job as well. It looks classy. Anyways, uh, so this is the mirror cube that was made with this pattern. Now, as you can see, there are some pretty cool things on the, and you know, pretty cool shapes, patterns, and uh, and yeah, it's really amazing. Like, look at that here. Let's see if I can zoom in and focus on that part. Uh, right here, you've got tubes sticking out, and it's painted really like. I don't know, it's, I don't even know how to explain, it's really cool, and it looks used, even though like that's meant to be, it's um, basically it's some sort of like, um, you know, used look in the sense that um, he painted so it would look uh, imperfect, even though that's what makes it look so cool. And uh, basically, this is just a mirror cube, right? But you also have center orientation due to the, the paint um, that you can see here, for example, where this has to be in the right orientation. Now see, if, if this is in the wrong orientation and the top face is as well, well, you would end up having... Uh, let me just give me a sec. You would end up with something like that. You see, wrong orientation. So, this is more than a mirror cube, even when it comes to solving. This is not just a simple, you know, uh, shape mod or anything. And it looks so amazing. I mean, when I got this, my, my first reaction was like, my God, how did I even manage to convince him to make me one? Like, this takes hours of work, and he actually offered it for a re really reasonable price. And um, it was definitely the highlight of my collection back then, and it is definitely one of the highlights of my collection now. So, now that I've showed you this, uh, let's move on to the second one. Now, I don't remember who made this, but um, back in the day, it was probably like 2011, I started uh, puzzle design, and uh, at some point, someone presented a floppy cube that was similar to that one with a baseball player, I think. And I was so impressed, and uh, I also had a friend who was a fan of Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan's, oh my god, sorry about that. Um, I had a friend who was a fan, and I figured, you know what, let's just ask him if he can make me one. And he actually offered to do this for like the smallest amount of money, it's, it was crazy. The, the first thing I, th I thought was like, this is impossible, I'm buying this. As soon as like he sends me an email, I'm buying this. Um, so he, uh, he sent me confirmation, and I managed to get my hands on this beautiful floppy cube. Um, I mean, seriously, look at that. This is made out of epoxy, which, mean he, which means he sculpted this by hand, including the hole here. I mean, I, I didn't even think he was going to make that hole. It's crazy. So basically, this is exactly in the perfect shape for the picture that was put on it. So basically, it's incredible. I mean, I could never do something so precise and everything when it comes to using epoxy as extensions. I, I can fill puzzles and, you know, sand them down, but when it comes to extending, I just suck. So yeah, um, so really cool puzzle, and um, I'm glad I'm finally showing it, because I think it deserves to be seen. I'm going to do my best to try and find out who made this, and if I find it, I'm going to leave uh, a link to whatever he has in the description, probably a YouTube channel or maybe just a, a forum uh, 
sort of a museum section on the Twisty Puzzles forum. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys this because it's really cool. Now on to the final one. This is a sticker mod that I really like. This is um, a multiple outline sticker mod by um, Chewbacca, who has a sticker shop just like uh, Olivier Nagui. And uh, basically, um, he made this uh, really cool pattern on, uh, on multiple puzzles of him. And um, it's basically, uh, uh, well, an outline sticker mod. You know, those, those, uh, those outlines where you have uh, an empty piece, but just the outline um, drawn on the piece. Well, here he decided to, to basically uh, do an inception of outlines. And I think it looks really nice. I mean, look at that. It's, it's, it's actually quite hypnotizing. <laughs> and I think that's really nice. Um, I tried to play with it and honestly, like solving it doesn't change. It's still as fun. It's not like it's giving you a headache or anything, but on a shelf, it looks goddamn beautiful. So yeah, basically this is what I wanted to show you guys today. I hope you like these little mods. You can get that one from, uh, from Chewbacca's shop. Uh, he's, uh, he's a cool guy and he makes some pretty nice sticker mods. Uh, he actually usually buys 3D printed puzzles and sometimes puts like, you know, um, carbon fiber stickers and stuff like that. I think it's really original and, and I like his work, so yeah. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'd love it if you could leave a comment telling me which one would you, was your favorite mod out of those three, because uh, I'm curious to know what type of puzzle you like. And uh, yeah, as always, feel free to share this video with your friends if you liked it, and I'll see you next weekend with some more puzzles.